Hey, Scott with Renegade with the 914, looking at some new brakes that we just developed. Oh my God, this is so fantastic. Let me first of all tell you what's going on with the 914 original rotors, original brakes. If you're running an VA car, the four lug uh, non-vented setup where the rotor itself is all part of the bearing, it's really bad. I don't care if you put these big BMW calipers on it or do all this extra whiz bang stuff that people tell you to do, don't do it. Why? It's not the caliper that's as big of the problem. Yeah, there's definitely some inherent issues there, but I'm telling you, there is a big problem with the rotors and the rotors heat up the grease on the inside of the bearings, which cooks that out, which freezes up your bearings and wipes them out, or it gets so hot that it transfers heat into your calipers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but not with this stuff. This is all the new stuff. So obviously you've gone to five lug. For those people that are running four lug and you wanna remain four lug, I can understand that. I don't really have much of a solution for you as far as that goes because with the bigger, bigger calipers, which I'll talk about here in a second, you really need to have a rim that's gonna be able to accommodate it. So on to the good stuff. First of all, if you notice, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is all 914 suspension, 914, 914, none of this is 911. Now for those people that think that they're gonna go find an air-cooled 911 front suspension, especially a later front suspension, where the spacing on the two bolts on the back are three and a half inch proper, not like the early 911 stuff, which would be basically the same as 914, good luck because it's not really gonna happen anymore. The stuff is so incredibly expensive. It's like $4,500 to buy an entire front end. Good use, and you'd be lucky if it's not bent, okay? So what I say is I say, okay, the 914 stuff is almost identical to the 911 stuff. It's good, it'll work fine, and for a street-driven VA car, this is something you need to take note of. What we've done is we now have our own hub assembly that's on the inside that does not share the same space as the rotor. This is a rotor that is separate because it's a 996 rotor. If you know anything about 996s, this rotor right here actually is slid right onto these studs just like this. So our brake upgrade kit consists of all 914 front suspension that you already have on your car, converts it to five lug, uses the 996 front rotor and the 996 front caliper, we supply the rotor brand new, we supply the hub and the bearing in this whole entire assembly here, we even supply the brake lines, we supply the hardware and the adapter block that accommodates this caliper, as you can sort of see back in here, this is all stuff that we manufacture, that gives you an idea. Then what you do is you go out on the internet and find yourself a caliper because these things are dirt cheap all over the place. Calipers front, left and right for, from a 996 and that gives you your front brake setup. And guess what? We did the same thing from the rear. Come check this out. I wasn't kidding. We did it on the rear too. Okay, yes, you lost the parking brake. Do a line lock. Uh, do something, something else. I don't know, be creative. If your state says, hey, you gotta have some sort of a parking brake, uh, uh, do whatever you can. You can always take this stuff out, run the four lug, go in there, show them that you have a parking brake. I, I don't know, what, whatever you wanna do. It's, it's entirely up to you. But the bottom line is, is I would rather have you have big brakes to stop the car then I, would then I would want you to have a parking brake. In other words, let's prioritize the safety here. Once you're moving, we want you to be able to scrub the speed off. And so this is the 996 rear calipers as well. 996 rear rotors, as you can see right here. Again, five lug. We have the hubs that are already set up for five lug. And so we can supply the bearing, the hub, the rotor, and then you can turn, and of course the adapter block and the hardware, and then you can turn around and find yourself your own 996 rear calipers as well. In other words, what we've done is, is we've taken all the best parts of the 914, not requiring you to have to go to the 911, which so many people think that they have to do, and you can bolt it right directly onto your 914 and give you five lug. Now there's one more caveat that I wanna show you so that you understand. We're gonna go back to the front right now. So the big rims, are what you're gonna to need to get over these calipers, but they're not gigantic and they're not actually that expensive. Check it out. We actually have a really, really nice looking Fuke rim. It's a Fuke style rim. Uh, obviously we've got the gloss center. We have the polished outside lip. We do have numerous different center caps for your varieties in case you want to have a chrome center cap or something else. That's not a problem at all. We can certainly accommodate that. But this is the biggest thing. These are 17s. There's two reasons why I love these. A 17 gets you into a tire that actually is going to be more of a performance tire. Because it seems like 16s, they've all pretty much gone away. There's very, very few choices with regards to that. And the offset of these rims works perfectly. 
specifically for your 914 suspension. We're not running any sort of flared fenders on this car. We're actually running a square setup. This is a 17 by seven and a half front and rear on a stock body car. If we were running a flared fender car, which if you pan over right here like this, we do 17 by nines right over here. You can see this right on this side right here and that would be on a flared fender car right there. Otherwise, 17 by seven and a half square setup, that's not a problem at all. So once again, Renegade Hybrids, we give you the go, now we give you the whoa on a 914, and that's really important. All righty, if you have any additional questions, give us a buzz back, 702-739-8011. My name is Scott, thank you for watching all these crazy videos. Uh, I've been welding today, I probably have holes all over my shirt, I wear my funky hat. But honestly, I just absolutely love what we're doing. We're doing some great stuff, so please check us out. We'll talk to you on the phone when you give us a buzz or info at renegadehybrids.com. Talk to you soon. Thank you.